This is an antibiotic. We all know it. What a great invention. <coughs> Saving lives since 1928. Patients love it because they trust it. Doctors like it because they know it works and because their patients trust it. However, doctors also know that the overuse of antibiotics mm. causes resistance to it, which forces pharma companies to develop new strains of antibiotics all the time. And this development raises the price of medication and the total cost of healthcare worldwide. But doctors also know that their patients want to leave their offices with a prescription for medicine that will make them feel better. And that led doctors to prescribe antibiotics for the flu virus even when they knew it was the wrong thing to do. And HMOs are caught in the middle. On the one hand, HMOs want to help their doctors provide correct and adequate medical treatment for their members. But cynical patients think that HMOs try to cut costs at their expense. Stopping funding for antibiotics for influenza cases would be a real problem in the patient HMO relationship. So, what can be done? We joined forces with an Israeli HMO and together put SIT to work, trying to tackle this problem. A group of healthcare professionals was assembled, taught some elements of the SIT method, and facilitated a process to arrive at new ideas to solve this festering problem. Ideas were both generated and implemented. Some of the best ideas were put into effect immediately by the HMO. For example, they made it easy for a doctor to receive information about the status of influenza-related data in his immediate area. This data made it easier for the doctors to more accurately diagnose patients. Additionally, patients were prescribed a viral prescription for self-treatment using over-the-counter medications which immediately takes care of the symptoms and the overall ickiness related to the flu. The solution considered most innovative, however, was the invention of the delayed antibiotics prescription, a prescription for antibiotics that only becomes fillable at a pharmacy 24 hours after the patient sees the doctor. We all know that flu symptoms typically disappear in the 24 to 48 hour range, so by the time it was valid the next day, many patients simply no longer felt the need to fill the prescription. Another surprising result of the SIT process was the HMO's decision to spend money to educate the public around this issue. It sponsored a nationwide media campaign discouraging the unnecessary use of antibiotics for viral illnesses. Even more impressive is that major media organizations joined the HMO to create a TV miniseries to promote education on the abuse of common medications. And the most important result? The following winter, a significant 27% reduction in antibiotic purchasing for influenza visits. Such a result was hailed by medical journals as a best practice and received international recognition, leading to the adoption of several of these solutions by HMOs around the world. SIT, making the world a better place through innovation.